When Google announced a Pixel Watch was coming, I was so excited. A Pixel alternative to the Galaxy Watch line, but with Fitbit integrated tech. It sounds great, but this watch did not meet all of my expectations. Hey, s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. The Pixel Watch comes in three different colors. There's champagne gold, matte black, and polished silver. With silicon active watch bands included, alternative bands can be bought separately. Let's go ahead and talk about those bands just so I can get this part out of the way. The band connector for the watch is a proprietary type of mount, which has a small button for quick release and easy replacement or installation of additional bands. Now that can make it really easy to style with different outfits because you could easily change it every day, but it's also annoying because you can't use regular 20 millimeter bands from other smartwatches with this one unless you do a little hack. In order to do this hack, you would have to buy one of the $80 leather bands, which comes with a square end that connects to the watch. You can then use a spring bar tool to remove the leather band and replace it with other 20 millimeter bands. Now I find it pretty annoying that they don't just sell some kind of adapter mount with a 20 millimeter connector and they kind of force you into buying the $80 leather bands if you want better customization because the current options for the Pixel watch bands available from third parties and from Google themselves are pretty slim pickings. We basically just have like a bunch of leather black ones. There's a few woven ones and they're all in pretty dark colors. And then we have a bunch of different colors for silicon ones, but silicon gives me a rash. So that's that's my other gripe. My gripe with the band is that it's silicon fluoroelastomer material that they used for this. Now I know from a Twitter thread that I made that I'm not the only one who deals with this issue, but the active watch band really irritates my skin to the point where I don't wanna wear it. Similar to what happened with the band on the Samsung Galaxy watch that I reviewed, I think that was last year. So I'm kind of forced into buying another watch band in order to use my Pixel watch. But again, my options are limited. Now this wouldn't be such an annoyance if the mount was compatible with nice leather bands that I had already bought for my Galaxy watch because then I could just use them on this watch and not have to spend additional money annoyances. But for what it's worth though, if this kind of material does not affect your skin, then it's great. It's got this wonderful soft feel watch band and it should not be bothersome. And the connector for this band is actually really intuitive and very smart. I have not had any issues with this thing disconnecting. It always stays firm. It always stays grasped on there. It always stays locked. So if you are working out, this is a wonderful, wonderful fitness watch band. The Pixel Watch is three $349.99 for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth model or $399 for the 4G LTE and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth model. You will notice as I flip around here that this thing has a relatively small display and the casing is at 41 millimeters, which works great for my small wrists since I often find that smartwatches are way too big and way too bulky and heavy. This one also is pretty lightweight at 36 grams. In my experience, Android and Fit fitness smartwatches tend to be overly masculine as well. So I appreciate this much cleaner aesthetic and it's smaller form factor. It's much more appealing to me, though some folks have commented on the big bezels around the active display, which is all encased underneath a glass dome. Most of the apps I used on here have black backgrounds anyway, so I don't really notice the borders at all. I also have small hands, so maybe it's easier for me to use such a small display because of that. It is touchscreen, so you don't have to use the dial on the side if you don't want to. And I really like the touch screen on here. It's very, very responsive. It's very intuitive. No issues whatsoever in the few weeks that I have been using this with the touch screen. It also has a dial on the side that I had mentioned, which can be pressed in to access all of your apps. You can also turn it to scroll the display. There's also a flush button right above the dial as well that you can use to find recently used apps, or you can hold down to access assistant if you don't want to use the trigger phrase, but the trigger phrase does work. So you can use that too. So I can say, Hey Google, <gasps> it works. Cancel. The display on here is Corning Gorilla Glass 5, 320 pixels per inch. It's an AMOLED display and it can hit up to 1000 nits brightness. And yes, it can get really bright at night. It also has an always on display option, which I generally keep disabled as I prefer to use the gestures to turn it on. I think it's kind of cool to be able to just flick my wrist and have the screen turn on. 
is neat. The watch does have water resistance built in along with haptics for notifications and triggers. I am very happy with the haptics and the vibrations from this watch. I found after using this for several weeks that the notifications I get on the watch get me enough information so I don't actually have to check my phone as often, which is really nice. I found that I do have to charge this watch every single day. Now I prefer to wear it to sleep because I like to track my sleep cycle. So I charge it in the morning while I'm getting ready for the day. I leave it on the charger for about an hour while I do my normal morning routine. If you're like me, hair and makeup take a very long time, my dude. So an hour is actually how long it takes. And by the time I'm done, it gets back up to 100% battery. Generally, I have found the battery will be down to around 25% to 30% by the time I put it on the charger. So after 24 hours of use, this thing will definitely not last more than a day and a half on one charge in my own experience. Again, I don't use always on display, but I do use the tilt to wake. So things like that are going to affect how long your battery is going to last. Now the Pixel Watch uses Wear OS. And in my experience, just using this the past month or so, I am really enjoying Wear OS. I find it to be really easy to access everything that I need to access. Everything seems very intuitive. And when it comes to swiping left and right or up and down, I am I know what to expect based on my experiences in the past using like Galaxy watches. Yes, there is going to be a slight difference if you've never used a smartwatch before or if you've never used Wear OS, it will be a little different from other ones on the market. But generally, I found that it's quite intuitive and it's quick. It's very responsive and very fast. One big thing for me on this Pixel Watch was the Fitbit integration since Google bought Fitbit. This thing comes with fitness tech built in and it integrates with the Fitbit app. It also comes with a trial run of Fitbit Premium. I would advise using that trial service and right after you sign up for the trial, immediately go into your account and cancel the service. It will still keep your trial active till it expires, but that way you won't forget about it months down the line and have to pay for the premium service if you don't actually want to pay for that. Fitbit's applications that work with the Pixel Watch include several different fitness options. You can track exercises like hiking, biking, golfing, climbing. There's a lot of different options. I tracked a two mile hike and the steps elevation, gain, time, heart rate, distance, and more were all included in the data. I live near mountains now here in Colorado, so I do track my elevation gain on hikes because I, I went to train so that I can actually climb a 14er. So I find this data to be very useful. The sleep data is accurate in my opinion. I'm a very light sleeper and the data it gives me is in line with my expectations. I was also very intrigued by the ECG app, which by the way, you do need to update your watch and the Fitbit app in order to get access to the ECG app to take advantage of that feature. There is an ongoing heart rate monitor and you can see the full data in the Fitbit app. This is so handy. I was able to see when this giant spider legit spooked the shit out of me and I literally jumped over a sofa to get away from it. And you could see when I saw the spider because my heart rate totally spiked on the Fitbit app. And I could also see my heart rate spike on the main home screen for the watch. And I was just like, well, it works. That's good. <laughs> One thing that I did have an issue with, and I haven't gone back and tried it yet. Hopefully it's fixed now. I did have this issue with a third party watch face from Facer. They have this really cool Star Trek L cars watch face and I loved it. I tried it for like a week, but when I installed this on my Pixel watch, it looked so freaking cool, but it also caused the heart rate tracker to flatline or lose connection and have missing data. So it kind of looked like I was dead. I determined the watch face to be the issue because the monitor had errors right after I installed that off and on. But when I removed the watch face, that totally fixed the problem. So I just went back to one of the default watch faces for now, but I'm hoping that that issue is fixed in the future because I want my screen to look like an Elcar's computer system from Star Trek. Who doesn't? You can find a lot of the same Google Play apps for the Pixel Watch that you can find for other Android smartwatches as well. So I won't go through those, all, all the third-party integrations that you can find. Although if you want a favorites video, let me know down below because I'd be more than happy to do that. By the way, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to become a part of this amazing community and check out my Patreon and buy me a coffee links down below to see how you can support this channel and join folks who just became patrons. Thank you so 
much for the support. Google Assistant is so useful on the Pixel Watch. You can trigger it again by speaking the wake phrase, or you can hold down on the flush button, which is right above that dial. You can then ask it all the normal questions that you could ask your phone or home devices. The built-in speaker is not particularly amazing, which I was not expecting, but it does the job for simple prompts. The media controls work while the phone that it's connected to is in airplane mode, but it's disabled if the watch is in airplane mode. Google Pay works on the watch, and I've used it a few times now, and I love it. It requires you to use a screen lock on the watch in order to sync your card and Google Pay account on the watch, but it totally works. Now, for some reason, when I tested it, I did not have to unlock the watch to use Pay, but it worked flawlessly other than that. Maybe it's because it was already on my wrist and it sensed that, maybe because the phone was already unlocked, not really sure. If that's how it always works, some folks may prefer it for convenience sake, but I would prefer that it require the watch to be unlocked each time to use it. Maybe that's just me. So to wrap this up, I've got a cool app recommendation for you. The Google Camera app allows you to control your phone's camera from the watch. You do have to download this. It's called the Google Camera app on your Pixel Watch and then open it. It will automatically open the camera app on your phone. So then you can set your phone up on a tripod like farther away and take multiple pictures and see a preview of each photo taken on the watch. It gives you this nice little three second countdown to take the photo and it vibrates when the picture is taken so you know when it's done. So if you don't have a photographer, this is a like rudimentary way to get your Christmas card photos done. I thought it was really cool and I'm gonna use that all the time as a content creator. So I was not expecting to love my Pixel Watch as much as I do. I love the cleaner interface compared to the Galaxy Watch. I love having seamless integrations that work so smoothly with the Pixel phone. Other than the proprietary band connector, the battery life could be longer and the bezels which do bother some people, it doesn't bother me. I really like this watch. I would definitely recommend gifting one of these to Android users for the holidays if you wanna spend a fancy dime on someone, because yes, it is over 300 bucks. Leave your questions below. Let me know if there's anything in particular that I should download for my Pixel Watch. I'm looking for the coolest third-party apps and integrations that I can put on this thing to really, really get some use out of it. I've been wearing it every single day since, uh, uh, early October, so I'm, I'm definitely loving it. I highly recommend it. I think it's cool. I'm Shannon Morris. Thank you so much for watching to my s'mores. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.